Are you experiencing some slowness on your smart home network? Would you like a way to troubleshoot things end to end? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do this with Unraid and iPerf. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot your smart home network using Unraid and iPerf. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbytesworunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Now here's what we're gonna be covering in this video and that's how to troubleshoot your smart home network using Unraid and iPerf. Now, first of all, what's iPerf? Then we're gonna go over the required item. We'll walk about installing iPerf. We're gonna show Minion from the Unraid standpoint and then how to use iPerf. Well, you're first gonna ask me, well, Ron, what's iPerf? iPerf is a very handy utility that's been around for quite a few years, and it's what's called an endpoint testing tool. That means you've got to have it running on two systems to see what's going on. This is good for troubleshooting, and it's good for something called baselining. Baselining, if a term you're not familiar with, is gives you what the network was like at that point in time. So if you're changing network cards, if you think you've got a questionable network cable, if you're not too sure about the port on one of your network switches, this can help you kind of flesh things out. So this is a very handy utility to have and really one that's very straightforward to use, no muss, no fuss but it helps you do some troubleshooting. Also, if somebody's got this great new network card that you that they're really telling you is, is you've got to use this, it's the absolute fastest, well, you can put it on your network and use iPerf to help you kind of figure out what's going on. Now, this is just going to test things at pretty much what I call the physical layer of the network, the wiring, the switches, and so on. It doesn't get up in the application area, but here's where it can also help you because it's running fine at base level of your network, but an application's running, so then you've at least isolated down that it's not the network. Because I've had somebody one time claim, oh, it's the network that's the problem. And with a little bit of troubleshooting, I showed them, no, it's the server that's having the problem. So it's all in how you get it done. Let's go ahead and get started with the installation on Unraid. To get this running on Unraid, we've got to use something called the Nerd Pack GUI. And this is something that allows you to add functionality to Unraid, but it's probably going to be mostly CLI for the most part. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. And it won't take but just a, a second to do. So we'll click on done. Then we'll go over here, not to apps, go over here to settings. And you see where we've got nerd pack. What we'll do is we're going to search for iPerf. There's a lot here and I don't know about you, but I really don't want to go through the whole process. So we will just turn it on and then apply and take it just a second here to get installed. Again, no muss, no fuss. Very straightforward. You can see it says up to date and it's ready to go. And you can always have it installed, but turn it off. To use it, we've got two different modes to look at. We're going to go into the command line or terminal mode within iPerf, and that's where we'll get started. Now, if we switch over here, and I've got a laptop at the ready here, and we'll switch over to that. We've already got, this is on my MacBook Pro, but they, like I said, they got all sorts of clients available to use. So we'll first do, if I can click in the window here, ifconfig, because I want to make sure what my address is, 10.0.1.216. Okay, that will become important here in just a minute. Okay, so we'll start this one in iPerf, iperf server mode. So that that's ready. Now we'll go over here to the Intel NUC. As you are installing your latest smart home device, grab a copy of my smart home checklist. This will help you record information about each device as you set it up. This will prove helpful when you need to find out where to get the firmware updates from or support on that device. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. So we'll just type iperf three client 10.0.1.216 going to take just a little bit to run a test and if we switch over to the mac you can see it's running the same screen and we'll have the results here in just a minute so this is what's showing us we had no retries which is a good thing this is about 16 megs transfer speed and if we go over here to the mac it's going to show a little bit higher but you know the numbers are always going to be a little different potentially that's on wireless so i'm going to shut down wireless and we'll give it a second to come up with an address i have config we'll change the address and we should just be able to rerun the test again because we, all we've done is change the interface on the laptop so we've got comparable results but see this is again 
there's always room for improvement. So that shows you how you can test both a wired and wireless connection. So if a laptop is not working the way it should, then you've got to deal what to work with. But I'm going to go to a different network adapter. And this is one that operates on the FireWire input. We will look at what its address is going to be. It hasn't gotten it yet, but that's not surprising. Okay, so now that I've got the other network card plugged in, okay, so 10.0.1.150. All right, so let's rerun the test here. So we're, we're getting comparable information. So at this point, what this is telling us is there's not that much difference between the two different wired network cards that I had. And it also shows that everything seems to be running all right. I'm not, on all the three attempts, I've not had any retries, which is a good thing. If you try having retries, then you definitely have a network problem that's got to be dealt with. And this is something that's handy to have so that when you're bringing up something new, you can test the network. Now, if it if you can't put the iPerf client on it, then you're not going to be able to use it as a test point, but you can at least plug something into that port. So the only thing you're not able to test that point is the device that you can't put iPerf on, but at least it gives you a way to test your network back and forth. And this is going to be a way you can kind of get to see more of what's going on with the network. If you make setting adjustments, you don't have to go on a wing and a prayer as to well, is this doing any good? And you will have demonstrable results as to what's going to work best for you. So this is very straightforward. Like we showed earlier, there are a variety of clients to go with. So you can test on literally just about anything. And it's a matter of knowing the IP address of the system that's running iPerf in server mode, and then you just test against it. It's not a bad thing to keep some written records where you, you capture the screen output, put it into a text file, and you put it in Google Keep or something like that. Being able to watch things over time or baselining, as it's known, is also a good thing because it can help you see when there's starting to be a problem before you may really even notice it. So that's another good thing to have. So even if you don't have Unray, because Unray makes a great endpoint to test with, even if you don't have that, as long as you've got systems that are supported on iPerf as a platform, then you've got that to work with. And you can always use pretty much anything you've got. It's very straightforward for iPerf to run on. In this case, we just installed one little component, Nerd Wallet, and that opened up a whole box of things to look at. So this is yet another reason why, un why Unraid is probably something you need to have on your network, even if you don't have a NAS yet. It's got a whole lot of potential. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.